Okay guys, so let's start with the setup process. Um, I am gonna be switching from my iPhone 13 to iPhone 16 Pro Max. So let's get uh, started. Uh, first, I'm gonna set this uh, old phone on the side. Uh, let's see what we have. So we have the, you know, the welcome screen. So let's start. This will now ask me to choose a language. And you have a, quite a lot of language over here. So you can, uh, for me, I'm just gonna start with English and will ask me to select my region. I'm gonna, it's already pre-selected United States. So I'm just gonna go with that. Uh, second, now it's asking for appearance, how I want my phone to appear. So it says, choose how you would like uh, text and icons to look on the iPhone. So let's say medium, it means it's uh, increasing the size. And if I wanna do a little bit large. So I'm gonna set to default, that's how I like it. So I'm gonna say press continue. Is it's asking for looking for nearby devices. So now I'm gonna just unlock my old iPhone 13. So let's see, as you can see, it says set up new iPhone on my old one. So what I'm gonna do is continue. And it is asking for face ID, so I'm gonna just unlock it. And now I'm gonna have to, uh, from the old phone, I'm gonna have to take a video of uh, just put it on on this design so let's do it so it is asking for my internet connection so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just turn on the wi-fi and cellular data okay so now we have uh, my wi-fi so i'm just gonna connect to my wi-fi and i'm gonna use the password so it's already connected It says it may take a few minutes to activate your new phone. So now it is asking for data and privacy. The icon appears when Apple features asks to use personal information. Uh, Apple collects this information only when needed to enable specific features, secure Apple services, personalize your experience. So we're just gonna hit continue. Now it is asking me to do a face ID. So I'm just gonna, uh, behind the camera, I'm just gonna do a face ID. All right, that is done. Now it says use Face ID with a mask. Face ID is most accurate. Now I love Face ID, so I'm gonna use uh, use Face ID with mask. So now it says Face ID is now set up. So I'm gonna hit uh, continue. And it says create an iPhone passcode. So now the passcode has been set up. It says transfer your apps and data. So what we are gonna do is you're gonna do select from, you can say from iCloud backup, if you have an iCloud backup, uh, from another phone, from Mac or PC, from Android, or don't transfer anything. So let's, I'm gonna select from another phone. And this tells me to bring my old phone closer. So I'm gonna say continue. We're gonna, again, use the camera okay so now it says continue on your old iphone so i'm just gonna set it up so i'm gonna do setup for me and it is asking to enter passcode of your other iphone so what i'm gonna do is put the passcode now that is done so it says finish on new iphone so what i'm gonna do is transfer download from icloud so let's start with icloud Hopefully I have a backup. So it is asking me for the terms and conditions. So I'm gonna hit agree. And now it's doing my iPhone backup. Okay, so we continued after that and this is uh, what we're seeing right now. So it says we have an action button on the side and you can customize. So we're gonna do it for later. We're gonna hit not no. So we have also camera control on the side. We're gonna say continue. And it shows where the camera control button is. So we're gonna just continue again. Uh, emergency SOS. Um, so it tells you all the special features that you have on your iPhone. So we're gonna say continue. Now it's gonna restore from iCloud. One eternity later. Okay, so now we are gonna do is transfer our phone number so let's put our phone number and billing zip code. A few moments later. Okay, so now it says activating eSIM and connecting iPhone to the cellular network. So it's gonna 
close off my old phone and it's gonna move on to this phone. All right, after a couple of seconds, uh, we see the cellular setup has been complete. Once we hit continue, it'll, it's gonna say welcome to your iPhone. So we're gonna swipe up. And now we can see on the top, the network sign is already available. So there you go, the setup process of the iPhone 16 Pro Max.